This was easily one of the most original, unique, and well-told stories I have ever seen. What is up? I am the G.I. Joel, and I love nerdy content so much that I quit a full-time job to pursue my dream of being a full-time content creator and opening my own comic book shop. And on this episode of G.I. Joel Reviews, I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite shows to come out this year, Severance. If you like nerdy content, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification to join the G.I. Joel Nation. Just a basic synopsis of this show. Essentially, there has been a movement in America where corporations offer employees to sever their own brains. Essentially what this means is that they divide their brain into two separate hemispheres. One is activated when they're at work. They have no memories of the outside world. They have no memories of who they are outside of their job. And then the other is them in the outside world or the Audis as they refer to them, where they don't have any memory of what they did at work. They don't know what they do. They don't know who they spend their day with. Basically 40 hours a week of their life is completely gone. And this causes a lot of really interesting things to happen. You know, what happens if they run into each other outside of work? They don't recognize each other. What happens to them at work? They don't remember. And it's all really interesting. And it's a great concept, especially when you're used to working in a corporate position where you're used to putting on one face at work and then being someone completely different outside of the office. Everything about this show was about as close to perfect as it could be. The performances from Adam Scott, John Turturro, Britt Lauer, and an absolute slam dunk by Patricia Arquette. All of their performances were absolutely incredible. You were even rooting for Patricia Arquette when she's essentially the antagonist throughout this entire story. Another noteworthy performance comes from Trammell Tillman, who played Mr. Milchek, the joyous yet somewhat menacing HR manager. And hopefully this is the first of many large projects for him in the future. This series was executive produced and directed mostly by Ben Stiller, and it has firmly cemented him as one of my favorite storytellers. The cinematography, the writing, the overall concept were all absolutely incredible. And the story in a lot of ways really resonated with me. My whole professional career for the most part has been spent with large organizations. First, I was in the military. And then after that, I was in a sales position at the largest bank in the US. So I'm really familiar, not just with like corporate culture and corporate jargon and things like that, but with the feeling of being a small piece in a very big machine and you don't really know what the rest of the corporation is doing, what the rest of the you know organization is up to. You just know that you have this small part that they tell you is important, but you're not really sure what it is. And this show did a really great job of capturing that feeling. You know, our main characters all work in macro data refinement. We have no idea what data they're refining. We'd have no idea even how they're doing it. They just know that they show up to work, they organize and clean this data. They don't know what it's for. They know nothing about it beyond what they do in the moment. And that is a very distinct feeling when you're working in a corporate job. You know, I come into work, I meet this quota, I do this, and I don't know what else happens beyond my little scope of responsibility. Overall, this show was absolutely incredible. A five out of five stars, an absolute G.I. Joel must watch. Tell me, have you seen Severance? Are you planning on watching it? Let me know down in the comments. And I'll see you at the next video.